God bless you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Hope you have an amazing day today. Um, so there's a story in the Bible, and it talks about how Jesus left the 99 sheep to find the one lost sheep. What if I were to tell you that Jesus left the 99 sheep just to find the lost sheep, which is you? Jesus did it to me. He did it to many of you who are watching. And if, you, if you're still in the world, Jesus Christ can do the same thing for you. Just turn to him. It's like if you're lost at a mall and you see your mom, you're going you're gonna to want to go to her because you know her. Same thing spiritually. You want to you wanna know, you want to go to Jesus because you know Jesus. People, yeah, they know about celebrities, but they don't know, they don't truly know them. So like, people are like, well, what do you mean by that? Like me. I mean, yeah, some people, some people who watch my videos, they know who I am. They know who I am. But others who only watch my YouTube videos or follow me on social media, you don't truly know me. I mean, yeah, you know about me, but you don't truly know who I am. And, uh, <clears throat> and there's another important thing that where many people or many Christians, they do wrong. They read the Bible and they're like, oh, wow, Jesus healed the demon pose. He healed, he healed the blind. He healed the paralyzed. Oh, wow, that's amazing. But what if I had to tell you that you could do the same thing? People, me? No, I'm not. That's different because Jesus was perfect and I'm not. Well, you can. Because the same spirit or the same, yeah, the same spirit that rise Jesus Christ up from the dead, that's the same spirit that lives inside of us. And I would like to go to Matthew 19, verse 26. And people, they doubt when they see these things. Like, oh, somebody's sick. Um, like, the best thing I can do is prayer, but I made a video about this. It's called Power and Prayer. And it's so powerful that not that's why not a lot of people like to pray because the devil knows how powerful prayer is that's the devil's like you know what just don't go like just off i just offer you things of the world don't do prayer it's a waste of time it's boring but once you are in the presence of god he is gonna it's it's so amazing once you're in the presence of god like when you're on your knees like by yourself and you're you you start feeling this presence and you just like oh, and you just start crying because that presence is just so amazing that you don't know how to handle it so you just you just start busting out tears okay anyways uh matthew chapter 19 verse 26 and it says but jesus beheld them and said unto them with man this is impossible but with God, all things are possible. People are like, exactly. For men, it's impossible to heal the sick, to heal the paralyzed, to to, to think the things that Jesus did. Okay? <laughs> but, and yeah, God, every, everything in God is possible. He could do anything. For us, many things are impossible, but there's things that we can overcome, which a lot of people, they don't really want to. But God helps us. If we do things by ourselves, yeah, everything's gonna, like, a bunch of things are gonna be impossible. But if God lives in, if Christ lives in us, anything can be possible. You can perform miracles that Jesus did. You can heal the sick, but as long as you, okay, actually, before I start saying this, I'm gonna read this verse. And it's in Matthew Chapter 17, verse 20, and it says, And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed. Well, I'm going to stop right here. Right here it's talking about because your unbelief. Because like, like here's a story about how Jesus healed the demon pose and the disciples asked him, Well, how come I couldn't rebuke? How come I couldn't re re rebuke the demon? And here it says, because of your unbelief. They didn't really have faith. Yeah, they probably like, hey, you know what? 
hopefully I'm I'm going to try to try my best to rebuke this demon. But it's about faith. And here that's why it's saying uh if you have faith, grant as a mustard seed. Even if you had tiny faith, you could do anything. They could, the disciples could have rebuked the demon and the demon would have left if they had tiny faith. But they didn't have faith. That's why they couldn't rebuke the demon. Ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder, to yonder place, and it shall remove. And nothing shall be impossible unto you. If we have, even as a faith, like as a mustard, say tiny, tiny, tiny. Anything can be possible. That's what it says in the last few words. And nothing shall be impossible unto you. These two verses talking about how, I mean, yeah, many things are going to seem impossible. But it is possible. For us humans, we can't, we can't randomly heal the sick, heal the paralyzed man from our works. As little kids like to say, those are called superpowers. <laughs> but we're supposed to heal the sick, heal the blind, heal the paralyzed by the name of what? The name of Jesus Christ. If you just say, be healed, and that's it, it's, what is that going to do? But if you say, be healed in the name of Jesus, this man or this woman shall be healed. You could tell. That's why when you. Re, that's why when people rebuke, rebuke a demon. That's why they say. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. They don't only say. I, I rebuke you. Because then the demon isn't going to leave. But there's power in the name of Jesus. That's where we're supposed to mention the name of Jesus. That's where we're supposed to say, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You will be healed in the name of Jesus. Because there's power in the name of Jesus. And I would like to share like this short, something that happened, I think it was a few weeks ago. So my dad came home, something for my sister, because obviously she's the favorite child. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but he came home and... He said, and he said, well, her name is Madison. So my dad was like, yo, Madison, come here. I have a gift for you. She was so happy. Like, I can't even describe, like, how happy and, uh, yeah, how happy she was. And, uh, and that is how children of God is like. When we receive a gift from God, we are going to be happy. Like me, when I receive dreams, I'm like, thank you for talking to me. Like, and, I, and I'm, I'm truly grateful. Like when people receive visions um, and God speaks through them, you are going to be like shocked, but like you're going to be like happy. Just like my sister was when she, when my dad gave her a gift. She was happy and that is what God is like. He was like, my child, come here. I will give you a gift. People of the world, they're like, oh, I, I actually like the gift, but I can't take it. But the, but the children of God would be like, I love the gift and I shall receive it. <laughs>